Horse Camping Tips and Tricks, Part 2, Human Accommodations. There are many ways for the humans to camp, depending on the preferences and financial resources. Some people will use a tent. Some will bring their horses in a stock trailer, clean it out, and camp in the trailer. I will be commenting on camping in a living quarters trailer. Here are some of the things that I have done to make things a little easier. I added shelves where they would fit and made them adjustable to accommodate what was being stored in them. Shelves that are in hard to reach places, I added hardware so they could be pulled out. Boots are always in the way if they're on the floor, so I made shelves to fit them. I made cutting boards to fit into the sink to give us more counter space. We have a removable table that breaks down. It is seldom used in the living quarters, so it is stored in a closet. We made a base for it so that we could use it outside. It gets used often that way. I wanted a wastebasket in the bathroom, but the only place for it was behind the toilet, so I made a round one. We are camping in places such as National Forest campgrounds that do not have electrical hookups. Conserving electricity becomes important. I replaced the light fixtures with LED fixtures. It doubled the lumens and reduced amperage draw by 80%. We have two 6-volt golf cart batteries hooked up in series to make them 12 volts. Golf cart batteries are built more rugged than ordinary deep cycle batteries to take the bouncing around. Also, you can get more amp hours. If you can keep from draining batteries down too low, you will get more recharges out of a battery. I replaced the converter charger with one that has smart charging technology. The charging amperage is adjusted automatically depending on the state of charge of the batteries at the time. We have a generator in the tack space that allows us to run the microwave and the air conditioning when needed. While the generator is running, it is also charging the batteries. When we move the rig every day while crossing the state, I run the shore power cord through the horse compartment to the generator in the tack area. That way I don't have to break down and set up the connection daily. I sprayed paint on the lift to mark how high I have to raise the gooseneck to hook up to the truck. I made risers to level the rig when camped in uneven sites. Also, they can be used in the event you get a flat tire. The first notch up is longer than the others, so I get the weight of the truck on the ramp before going up more steeply to keep the ramp from sliding. Now it is your turn. Share the ideas that have worked for you in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It's all free. Thank you so much for watching.